Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Battlefoot in another exciting adventure, the case of Ripcord Van Winkle. Our scene opens on an old deserted hangar near the little Midwestern town of Weedsville, once the center of busy flying activity. Some say the place is haunted. Few remember the legend of its colorful past. Who was that? Is that the ghost of Weedsville Airport? What's this? An announcement. Why, somebody's planning to put on an air show. And it's starting tomorrow. Take a look at this, Clutch. I just received it through the mail. Why, this is the same kind of air circus announcement they used to have 30 years ago. Yeah, and that old handbill smells kind of musty, too. It must be some kind of a joke. Could be, Clutch, but it might be worth checking into. On the back of this handbill, it says planes of all descriptions will be in this air show. Wacos, travel airs, Great Lakes, Spads, Jennies, Gypsy Moths, Bull Pups. Bull oh, Pups? Yes, Spinner. Those early planes had very colorful names. Clutch, there's a story here I want you to check into. Well, I don't know. But you're the boss, Tom. Come on, Spinner. Let's see what's with Weedsville. <laughs> says this air show is being staged by a fellow named Ripcord Van Winkle. Who's he, Clutch? Uh, I vaguely remember. Seems to me he was a hot pilot back in the early years. Mysteriously disappeared right after an air show about 30 years ago. Disappeared? Golly! He must have come back like an old ghost. Thank <laughs> golly, that's right, Spinner. How could an old pilot who disappeared for 30 years suddenly come back from nowhere and throw an air show? This looks like Weedsville country, all right. Yeah, and lots of wheat fields and corn. Ah, there's the Weedsville Airport dead ahead, right on course. That's an airport? Looks more like an old barn than a wheat field. Sure looks deserted. Where are all the planes for the air show? Mighty strange, Spinner. We better go down and drag the field and see if it's safe to land. and look around. I don't see a soul anywhere. What kind of an air show is this going to be? I don't understand, Spinner. We've got the right place and the right date. Hey, Clutch, look. Here comes a plane now. Looks like he's going to buzz the field. Hey, he's coming right at us. Hit the dirt, Spinner. He's going to fly right into the hangar. Uh-oh, an old plane diving at them. How can they escape being hit? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the case of Ripcord Van Winkle. You remember last time Clutch and company received an invitation to an air show, one just like those held in the olden days of flying. Arriving at Weedsville Airport, they find it deserted. While standing inside the broken down old hangar... Hey! He's coming right at us! Hit the dirt spinner! He's gonna fly right into the hangar! Golly, Clutch! That was a close one! Sure quick thinking, opening up that back window and letting that plane out! It was the only thing to do, Spinner. Look at that! Look! Barrel rolls! Snap rolls! Wow, wee! Look at him go! See him, Clutch? He's upside down! I have 
haven't seen flying like this since the old days. Whoever's piloting that plane's either awfully good or terribly out of control. Well, here he comes again, Crutch. Then he's doing slow rolls. <laughs> now an outside loop. The toughest of all maneuvers. was some show you put on. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet, sonny. Wait till the real show starts. Me, hey, mister, when you flew into the hangar, I thought we were all goners. Don't worry about old Ripcord Van Winkle. I can fly that crate in and out of a shoebox. Ripcord Van Winkle. Then you're the one who called the air meet. Right you are, sonny. And it's high time the rest of the varmint showed up. I'm raring to go. By the by, what's your handle, mister? I'm Clutch Cargo. These are my friends, Spinner and Paddlefoot. Clutch Cargo? Well, I've read your adventure logbook. That chapter on flying was key. Read about a few things I didn't even know about. Glad to know you. This here's my airport. Spinner, you and Paddlefoot just make yourselves to home. Why, of course, Ripcord. This was the site of that famous air race that was so controversial 30 years ago. But right after that, you disappeared. Yep. But I'm back now, and I'm ready for action. Flying action. But where you been? Practicing, Sonny. Practicing for this here air meet. Why, I can fly anything from jets to jetties to giant condors. Well, what kind of an air show is this going to be, Rip? It seems you invited all the old timers. That's right, Sonny. I want them all here, especially one in particular. Hey! There comes someone now. That's him. That's him. That's the one in particular I was telling you about. That's the one I'm laying for. Why, it's one of those old high-powered GBs. He's turning towards us and headed right at the hangar. The same kind of stunt ripcord Van Winkle pulled. Will this pilot make it? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the case of ripcord Van Winkle. You remember last time Clutch and company arrived at the deserted airport of Wheatsville. Ripcord Van Winkle gave them a scare by flying through the hangar. Clutch learned that Ripcord had been in hiding for all these years. Then suddenly... He's turning towards us and headed right at the hangar. Get the dark man! inside this hangar than out. He's circling around. It's coming in for a landing. I hope. What a tough-looking plane. Looks just like a bumblebee. Look! The pilot's wearing a mask. The mask? Marvel. Mask? Marvel? <laughs> That's nobody but Marcel Twitty. The guy I come here to beat. He just wears that disguise get up because he thinks he's somebody special. Bah, Ripcord Van Winkle. You're not exactly no shrinking violet yourself. And I can beat you any day in any race. Not a fair race. Well, boys, we'll soon see who's the best man. Here come the others. Oh, right. Look at them. They're coming in from all directions. Finally, the moment of the big air show, sponsored by old-timer Ripcord Van Winkle, has arrived. Once again, the Weedsville Airport is humming with activity. The starting gun goes off. Colorful balloons are released as the signal for action to begin. 
The spectators are filled with anticipation. First comes the fancy trick playing. Next, the dive bomb contest with four legs. The balloon race. The handkerchief pickup. And here he comes. Exciting events of the afternoon, the famous delayed parachute jump by Rip Cord Van Winkle. Yep, that's me. And he will be taken aloft to the height of 15,000 feet by his arch rival, Marcel, the Masked Marble 20. Oof. and company were talking with Ripcord Van Winkle, Marcel Twitty suddenly flew upon the scene. There has been great rivalry between Ripcord and Marcel. As the events of the air show progress, Ripcord starts his delayed parachute jump. That's right, Spinner. His 30 years of practice is paying off. We've certainly seen a lot of excitement here today, but take a deep breath. It is now time for the grand event. The racing planes will prepare in closed course competition. Ripcord, I want to congratulate you. I don't know when I've had such a thrill. Golly, I'll say. You ain't seen nothing yet. Just wait till we get into this closed course race. Clutch, you and Spinner are going to be in old number five. There she is. Her lines are as sleek as ever. She's won many a trophy in her day. I want you to keep an eye on that Marcel Twitty, the masked marvel. He's the one that beat me out 30 years ago. He just ain't to be trusted. This is the race I've been practicing for all these years. I won't be cheated out this time. Attention, attention pilots. Man your planes. Looks like more records will be broken here today, ladies and gentlemen. 
Marcel 20, the last marble, has a strong lead, followed by Hutch Gargo, and hotly pursued by that grand old man of the skies, Ripcord Van Winkle. I'm warning you, Clutch Boy. Watch out for that sidewinding Marcel 20. Right about here, he starts pulling one of his sneaky tricks. Thanks, Rip. We'll be on the watch out. What's he talking about, Clutch? I don't see anything to be worried about. Just the same, Spinner. Keep your eyes peeled. Old Ripcord usually knows what he's talking about. There's the second pylon, Spinner. Marcel just passed it. Can Clutch and company escape running into that falling pylon? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the case of Ripcord Van Waco. You remember last time, Clutch and company had entered the air race. Marcel Twitty was in the lead. As they approached the turning pylon... Clutch, look out! Golly! It almost rang us, Clutch! I've seen it, Clutch. I've seen the whole thing! That was Marcel Twitty's trick for ever seen one. He must have sneaked out during the intermission and saw the legs of that pylon in half. Now be careful, Clutch. He's probably got another trick up his dirty sleeve. My next Marcel Twitty dirty trick will stop them cold. That good gishy gushy cloud ahead is just the thing. I'll seed it with my instant quickie set cement. <laughs> Perfect. By the time they get here, this cloud will be solid concrete. Then it'll be kapow, kapow. <laughs> hey, Clutch, look. Marcel Twitty, the mass marble, disappeared in that big, funny-looking cloud ahead. Yes, but that is a strange-looking cloud. It seems to be getting thicker by the second. Save them. I know what's in that cloud. With a sudden burst of speed, Ripcord lunges ahead of Clutch. Look, Clutch. Ripcord is diving into that cloud ahead of us. Why, he poked a hole right through it, Spinner. We'll follow it right on through. Look. He's falling. And so is that cloud, Clutch. It's falling like a rock. It is a rock, Spinner. Solid cement. No wonder Ripcord's diving. He's covered with quickie set instant cement. We've got to save him. Ripcord, open your hatch. Bail out. Can't clutch, boy. I'm shielded in here like a sardine. Can't budge. You two go on without me. No, Mr. Ripcord. No. Take over the control spinner. I'm going to get him out of there. Be careful, Clutch. Be careful. I told you not to bother, Clutch. It's dangerous out there. Now you go on and finish the race. We're going to finish this race together, Rip. Hurry, Clutch, hurry. We'll never catch Marcel Twitty. He's getting ahead. It's okay, Spinner. We got Ripcord. Move over, boys. Hang on good and tight, Ripcord. We still have a chance. Yahoo! Let her rip, Clutch, boy! Seems the competition has fallen behind. Hey, Clutch! Marcel just plowed into the last pylon! Tough luck, Marcel! But you asked for it! Whoa, fooey! What a finish, ladies and gentlemen! Thank you, Clutch and Spinner, for proving my case. I now have concrete proof of what Marcel Twitty did to me last time. Glad to help, Rip. Say, Clutch, what happened to Paddlefoot? I haven't seen him since the race started. Well, look at that! Paddlefoot's been in the race all the time! <laughs> <laughs> 
And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the case of Ripcord Van Winkle. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.